Famed for its head crest that looks like a lion's mane, the Philippine eagle is considered a wildlife treasure. But it's one that is dying out. There are around 400 pairs of Philippine eagles left in the wild. They need rainforests and large trees to live in. But now, almost 90% of the country's forests have already disappeared. Well, it's really difficult, um, especially when we, we do enforcement, because um, there are a lot of eagles, I think, being shot without being reported. And um, we are hoping that people will really get to report those stuff to us so that we'll know the, the extent of the hunting. Efforts to save them is now at a precarious stage. Environmental groups have made public education a priority, especially in far-flung areas like this one, where clandestine activities such as poaching have long been the norm. Gary and his friends have been poaching in the southern Philippines for many years. They set up around eight traps every week. They do not specifically hunt for eagles, they say, but when the birds get trapped, they eat them. Their ancestors believe that eating an eagle means a longer and healthier life. Since, uh, no, ma'am, uh... This also has been a practice since people moved here in the forest. They have livestock like chickens, but the eagle take them. Gary says they did not know that killing the Philippine eagle would mean 12 years in prison. Around 40 Philippine eagles are being looked after at this center. Funds to maintain them are limited. The center's foundation is dependent on private donors. Workers here say they are doing their best to provide the semblance of a life in the wild. Hopeful that someday these eagles will truly know what it is like to be free. Jamal Alindogan, Al Jazeera, Davao City, Southern Philippines.